Now we're going to go over caulking here real quick. Now I know a lot of you out there have never used a caulking gun before. I said, oh my god, you know, I can't use that. I don't know how to do it. It's a mess. This and that. Yes, it, it is complicated if you don't know what you're doing. But I'll show you how to do this easily and why it's done. First of all, you want to get yourself a good um, dripless caulking gun. That's one where after you pull a handle, it doesn't keep dripping out onto the floor. They only come in two kinds, dripless and non-dripless. You want to get yourself uh, some good caulk. You want to make sure that it's waterproof. You want to make sure it's paintable. Because a lot of the caulks before were silicone. And sil silicone is the most slickest surface stuff on the world and nothing will stick to it like paint. Then I, what I've done up here is I purposely let this one area unpainted to show you you can see you can see the cracks in the caulk now you know this happens this when I, I caulk before you may come into a house and you you'll find caulking is cracked or caulking that is not there and you can see what it looks like with the rest of these panels up here going into the wall and everything and you say to yourself well I can't really see it that well I know you know why because you can't see any black little line gaps there just isn't any up here in this corner yesterday there were there were gaps up here okay I fixed them and just repainted them now since I've caught most of the ceiling I did it years ago there are other places we can look to caulk do you see any like black lines anywhere over here? I mean, anywhere where a caulk could go, maybe. Let's see, you look for is black lines. Remember, this house was built in 1955. Everything in here is from 1955, just about. But if you'll notice right here, where this cabinet right here goes into the wall. There's a gap right there, and you go, oh my god, you know, we, we can't caulk that, it'll stick it to the wall, and what if, what if one day we'll have to pull a cabinet out and it'll, it'll wreck everything? Now that's a, good, that's a good thought. But the thing is, that, see, caulk is rubber. And once I caulk that in, no bugs will be able to get out from there, which they will come in. Also, if you need to ever take, uh, like a cabinet out or a window, you take your little painting knife and you just cut through the caulk. And then you pull your cabinet out, do whatever you got to do, put in a new cabinet, or put the uh, whatever rep replacement you're going to do, and recalk it. Now, if you look up here, okay, this I'll give you a wide view. This uh, this was put in in the 50s. Now you say to yourself, God, he's a great painter, but he doesn't know shit about cabinets. You know that's true. I don't. Okay. So these cabinets have been here forever. But you can see where the cabinet has been bolted in the wall down here and it's come loose up here. Or whatever. But all this will be caulked in. See, it's a black line. You see, that's what, that's what you notice. Like that. You, if you'll come over here, you'll notice. Right here, there's a black line. All this is going to be caulked in. Up here, the caulk has split for some reason. You can see it's a black line, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that so that because paint will not cover that. I'm also gonna put caulk right in this cabinet right here. So you give you a wide view here. This cabinet, I'll put it right down here, all the way up to here. And when it after it gets painted, you'll say you know everything looks like it's. Just, it fits together, it meshes. But I don't know why. Well, this is why. Now, in this bottom cabinet, and I think this, this cabinet here was made, and you can see it against the wall. It, it was handmade. It's been in the house forever, so we just leave it here. You can see the line between the cabinet and this, and this will all be caulked in. Therefore, if there's any bugs behind there or anything, they won't be able to get out. Now, in the laundry room here, what I've done is up here where the 
this uh, wooden cabinet meets the ceiling, you'll see a fine thin caulk line that goes across. But also, you'll notice that you can see some black right there. When the gap is too thick for doing it in one coat, what I'll do is I'll do one coat of the filler right here. And then I'll come back like today and I'll do another coat of caulk and I'll finish right along that line. And then I'll take my tape line and I'll tape right underneath that white right there and I will paint this caulk into the ceiling. And also I'll do a caulk line right here. But not in here. I can't do it in there, but right right down here. And I'll also maybe caulk right down on this edge right here just to keep bugs from coming out, out in and out. Because wherever there's a crack, bugs can find a way in. And I mean they can really find a way in. Now over here, this cabinet up here, I've taken some caulk and I've run it right around the top. Um, sorry about the poor lighting of this cabinet right here, but not I left some on the edge bare so you can see it. Let's see, Let's see if we can get it. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know why that doesn't want to zoom in for me for some reason. There we go. You can see right up here where I've left it, and then right down here, right. You see the edge right down there. Okay, I'll fill all that in too. And I'm, I'll show you how to do this. And that's the next that's the next step right here. We're going to take some caulk and actually do it. And I'm going to show you the commando, simple, easy way to do and the ergonomics of using your hands and the equipment to do it right.